Well, look at this beautiful, fair to partly cloudy day we are having today. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and the grass looks like it could use a little bit of mowing from all of the rain we had over the last week or so. My goodness. This has just been a crazy busy weekend with adventures, jam-packed. We went to Scoop's Ice Cream, we went to the Garth Brooks concert. <laughs> wow, lots of activity. So today is just going to be a kind of a chill day of editing and I think we're going to do a Netflix roulette today. So hopefully I can find something good to watch on there. <laughs> this should be fun. Well, hello there, and welcome to another beautiful day for a Netflix roulette here on Tommy Travels the Second. And today's movie is The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. It's something that's been showing up in my recommended list for quite a while, and so I thought today's the day to check it out. And boy, am I glad I did, because it is so worth watching. This is a great, great movie. And so if you are brand new to this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on a thing. And I will see you right after this. The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. If you're looking to see a good movie on Netflix, stay away from this one. If you're looking to see six good movies on Netflix, this is the one to check out. Because that's what it is. It's a compilation of short stories that all take place in the Old West. And my goodness, these are good movies. <laughs> it's one movie but it's like reading a book and they have a book on there and they turn the pages and each little movie is a new chapter in the book that you're reading and then they go into each story and they do such a good job of creating uh, the characters and developing them so that you care about them right from the beginning and then it all unfolds in such a great way it makes you think about the thing that you just saw later <laughs> even the next day you'll be thinking about it I'm sure and so absolutely wonderful wonderful piece of work this movie the ballad of buster scruggs this movie is kind of a cross between a good western movie and the twilight zone <laughs> what i liked about each of the plots of the movie is you had no idea really where it was starting off or where it was going and then when you get an idea of where you think it's going it does a little twist at the end and it's not always a happy twist. These aren't all happy endings. There's no nudity in any of these stories or throughout the movie, but there is quite a bit of violence. And so if you're not a fan of people getting shot and things like that, it may not be the best movie for you to watch, but it's also not on like the Quentin Tarantino level <laughs> where it's really graphic and gory. Um, it's just like any Western movie, people are going to get shot, and so they do show some of that. But not to the point where I'm going to deduct any points from it or anything like that, because I've seen definitely much, much worse in those categories uh, than this one. And the movie, The Ballad of Buster Scruggs, don't think that it's really a lot to do with that. I think it's only because... That's the first short story that they have in the movie, The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. <laughs> and that's about it. Everything else really has nothing to do with that at all. And so that was something I had a tough time getting my head wrapped around with that because that short story started and then all of a sudden I was like, what, what the heck is going on here? How could that happen? <laughs> and I don't want to talk really anything at all about any of the stories because that's half the fun of watching this type of a movie is watching whatever the story is and then moving on to the next one and then you're in a completely different place and a whole different situation with whole new characters to learn about and that happened six times during the movie and I think what I really thought was refreshing about this is that there aren't a lot of movies out in this style where it's a collection of short stories you don't see them very often at all and I hope this spawns some more of them, especially if they're at this quality, because it's just fun to watch. It doesn't keep your attention onto one thing. It moves it around a little bit in this short attention span life that we lead these days. 
I think the millennials would love something like this. <laughs> By the time they start to get bored, it's on to something else. So this is a, a really good movie for the millennials as well. And just because this is a collection of short stories, that doesn't mean that they skimp on the production value of any of them. Each one is treated as if it's its own movie, its own production, its own cast and crew, and it's... Uh, all treated very seriously for each single one. They have James Franco in one of them, Tyne Daly from Cagney and Lacey is in one of them, uh, the cinematography is outstanding in each of them, the acting, the story, they're all like their own separate thing but we're getting to see it all in one place and I really would like to see a few of these become their own movies, especially the very first one was really good. I was like, my gosh, I would like to see more of that guy for sure and um, in his own movie. I would definitely go see it. And there was a couple other ones I would go see as well. So this is really an entertaining little roller coaster. It's about two hours long and it's worth every second of that ride. So the verdict on the ballot of Buster Scruggs, it is a 10 on a scale of eat, pray, love to 10. I didn't think I would see that on Netflix. I didn't think I would ever see anything that, that good or that high of a rating on Netflix. This is a must-see movie. It's absolutely wonderful. It's the best thing I think I've ever seen on Netflix, and it's the best movie in general that I've seen in a while. And so... This is a 10 on a scale of eat, pray, love to 10. Absolutely wonderful. You will definitely enjoy it and I highly recommend it. Well, this has been another successful Netflix roulette here on Tommy Travels the Second. And we watched The Ballad of Buster Scruggs and it was a 10 on a scale of eat, pray, love to 10. And I'm so glad I watched it. And if you guys liked what you saw here today, go ahead and hit like on my YouTube channel. While you're at it, go ahead and hit subscribe and the little bell notification next to it so you can be the first to know when a new adventure comes out. And thank you guys so much for the support that you've given me so far. And until next time, I hope to catch you on the flip side. The cinematography in there is fantastic. Fantastic.